Hello. What you're seeing is not how the game Undertale normally starts. This is what happens when you start up the game after having played through the full passage for and gotten the best possible ending. And here's the main antagonist. Well, let's see what he has to say. Please bear with me as I attempt voice acting. Hi! Seems as if everyone is perfectly happy. Monsters have returned to the surface. Peace and prosperity will rule across the land. Take a deep breath. There's nothing left to worry about. <laughs> well, there is one thing. One last threat. One being with the power to erase everything. Everything everyone's worked so hard for. <laughs> you know who I'm talking about, don't you? That's right. I'm talking about you. You still have the power to reset everything. Toriel, Sands, Asgore, Alphys, Papyrus, Undyne. If you so choose, everyone will be ripped from this timeline and sent back before all this ever happened. Nobody will remember anything. You'll be able to do whatever you want. That power. I know that power. That's the power you were fighting to stop, wasn't it? The power that I wanted to use. But now, the idea of resetting everything... I... I don't think I could do it all again. Not after that. So please, just let them go. Let Frisk be happy. Let Frisk go with their life. Um, Frisk is your characters, by the name, their real name. Regardless of whatever name you type in, your actual name is Frisk, but that's a, it's a twist revealed towards the end of the game. Anyway, let Frisk live their life. Yeah. But, if I can't change your mind, if you do end up erasing everything, well, you have to erase my memories, too. I'm sorry. You've probably heard this a hundred times already, haven't you? Well, that's all. See you later, Kara. And now here's how the game normally starts. Introducing the main conflict. Uh, long ago there's a war between humans and monsters. The monsters end up losing and getting trapped underground because of it. It's never really revealed in the game who started the war or what the war is fought over. Ultimately, though, I don't think it really matters all that much. It's in the past. It seems very much about what's happening now. What? How can we improve? <clears throat> Again, this intro sequence is it one of the many tricks to make you think it, it's to, that any bit of narration is talking about your character? It's actually talking about the first fallen child. And the first child to ever fall into the underground. Before I can do anything else, I have to do a tree reset. 
the new name. And this isn't the normal music that plays for this bit. Uh, normally it's much more cheery uh, music, but um, at this point the game is kind of assuming the next part you're going to do, and it's not a pretty one. I'm not going to do that right now, but um, just to further demonstrate some of the game's mm, meta-ness, I guess you could call it. See what happens when I try to take one of the main character names. Nope. Doesn't let you. Okay, let's try Sense's brother, Papyrus, see what happens. Oh, I think it went wrong. <laughs> the first is much more eager, and he's like, I'll allow it! No, we're not going to do that one then. <coughs> I think you should think of your own name, my child. <laughs> See what happens when you do flower. Yeah? That was uh, who was begging us not to restart the game a minute ago. I already chose that name. Now let's try Flowey's real name, or original name, whichever it is, Azrael. No comment. A lot of conflicted feelings about that. All right. There's only one name we can go with since I know who the uh, who we're actually naming here. Because we're not actually naming our character. Our character has a name. They have their own life, their own personality. It's just hidden from most of the game. Because the game tricks you to think it's a protection protagonist. And you're supposed to uh, protect your own personality, your own feelings, and everything onto it. But Frisk really has their own. They're their own person, it's just, for a reason, you can control them. Isn't that kind of creepy? Kara, however, is the first fallen child. The one who was adopted by the king and queen of the monsters, Asgore and Toriel. They became a brother to their son, Asriel. That ended in tragedy, eventually. They didn't exactly die, but I don't know. Give you a hint. What other context have you heard about the significance of a true name before in literature? <coughs> All right, here we are. Okay, this is Frisk. Can't tell the gender of the kid, um, or race, really. Perfect projection protagonist material, right? Hey, hey, Flowey, how you doing? Howdy, I'm Flowey, Flowey the flower. Hmm. You're new to the group, aren't you? Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess the little me will have to do. Ready? Here we go.
Can see that heart? That is your soul, the very culmination of your being. Your soul starts off weak, but it can grow strong if you gain lots of LV. What's LV stand for? Why, love, of course! You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. <coughs> Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around, get as many as you can, and we pretend to fall for this one. Yeah? <laughs> you idiot. And this one, it's kill or be killed. Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? <laughs> Die. <laughs> what a terrible creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Ah, oh, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toria caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You're the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. the save system which also serves as foreshadowing a bit. Your determination, your ability to save, load, and reset the game is a huge plot point. And sort of metagame mechanic. Welcome to your new home, Innocent One. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. Um, the ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. Yeah, um... <coughs> Here's the clue if we were actually given the option to solve that ourselves. Only the fearers may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones, both walk not the middle road. Yeah, see, see what they did there? Yeah, I'm not gonna voice like everything, but mm. yeah, here she's. Okay. Here's what happens if you don't listen. I don't know. You want to press the other switch? I even labeled it for you. A lot of players will be initially annoyed with Torio, but um, I'm gonna recreate my experience with this segment here because after a while, I get I get a little irritated with her, um, so I skipped through all of her dialogue, which meant I was only seeing the big the words that were in bold or in all caps. Which see if you can find the cover trick that causes here. Again, yeah, notice which words are in all caps here. So the high, this is both to highlight the fact that this is a game mechanic they're teaching you, but also a very subtle trick for anyone who isn't actually reading this and is just skimming through it. Because if you don't pay attention, you might think she's telling you to, you need to fight the dummy when she's actually telling you the opposite. Carvel is showing. One key part of empathy is you actually need to pay attention and listen to others. It's, it may seem obvious, but you, I think we'd all be amazed at how many people don't quite do that properly. Uh, 
I think you're beginning to see why a, fan, a lot of fans call her Goat Mom. Usually, with affection for me. Now, I could fight. Could also select, could also do Mercy. Uh... This is the first real fight, and this one, along with Dummy earlier, really determines what determine what kind of route you're going on. These are three possible routes. One is neutral, where you just kind of kill or spare at your discretion. Most players just anything, kill anything they encounter or have an important truth they would come up with. There's the passive route, where you don't harm anyone. And then there's the genocide route where you kill everything. If you don't kill the dummy in this thing, immediately you won't be able to get on the genocide route at all. Thankfully, we're not doing that right now, and I plan on never doing that. Really. Again, I think you can see why people call her Goat Mom. Doesn't seem a little too dangerous for now. The thing is, there was no actual danger. See, I'm actually trying to walk on the spike. See, I'm pressing the arrow key to go that way, but it's not letting me. You can only walk on the spikes that disappear. There is no actual danger in this puzzle. Might make one she just did seem a bit fake, but I think it's also some. Very subtle foreshadowing. Oh, what's the job? Hmm. You've done excellently, Seth Saw, my child. However, I have a difficult request to make of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Oh no. Oh no, whatever shall I do? <laughs> yeah, I think we both know what... Yeah. Greetings, my child. Do not worry. I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I'll give you a cell phone. Yeah, this part really threw a lot of people. I thought this would take place with that technology, but apparently not. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? Okay, later. Sell. Uh, hi. Store. I want to say hi. Hello? Well then, hello. Hope that suffices. <laughs>
Huh? Oh, <laughs> how adorable! I can pinch your cheek. You can certainly find better than an old woman like me. Continues. Oh dear, are you serious? Have you said you wanted to call me mother? You are an interesting child. Well, hmm, worth noting that Frisk here is equally at home with fighting and flirting, uh, with violence and sexual knowledge, so, hmm, make of that what you will. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If the monsters don't want to fight you, please use some mercy, you know. it. And notice all the uh, important words when yell there? It's another hint. Let's take one. Make me scanning? Sure. Yeah, I'll take another one. Took more candy. How disgusting. <laughs> take, sure. Take another piece. You feel like the scum of the earth. <laughs> take one, yep. Wait on, you took too much too fast. The candy spills onto the floor. Oh no, what have I done? <laughs> See how this game just oozes charm. Because the act is how you persuade people, to, these various monsters and characters, to not fight you anymore. In, a lot, in most cases. Not so much for the bosses, but we'll get to that later. Uh, check always gives you information, like defense, their stats, and a little bit of their character. Like, for this rocket, life is difficult for this enemy. It gives you a little hint of how. You can approach them and get them to calm down. Or at least stop attacking. Probably best not to think too hard about that one. <coughs> now, early on, they'll give you messages like that, but. Later, the best way to check is to see if the text for them... ...is to see if they if their name comes up in yellow. Which, another NPC tells you later. in particular, which would you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Oh, I see. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hello, this is Toriel. You do not dislike butterscotch, do you? I know what your preference is, but... Would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right. I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. Well, this is... Three out of four gray rocks recommend you push them. Keep that sign in mind in a minute for a minute. Okay, I'm just gonna run away! Run away!
And I'm amazed I got that memorized. <laughs> Yeah, no need to do anything with that one. Look, all these rocks. This is so easy, right? Whoa there, partner! Who said you could push me around? Huh? So you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. Huh? Want me to move some more? Alrighty, how's this? Huh? That was the wrong direction? Okay, I think I got it. Yay, thank you. Uh, okay. Okay, now let's see what the rock has to say for himself. Huh? You want me to just stay there? It'd give me a real workout. Again, remember, three out of four rocks recommend that you push them. I'm real funny. Oh, <laughs> well, not too bad. <laughs> really not feeling up to it right now. Sorry. <laughs> Let me try. I call it Dapper Bluke. Do you like it? usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around. But today I met someone nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. <laughs> Absolutely. Eh, not getting that far anyway. Okay, just let that sink in for a minute. Here's happens if I had been skipping. Oh. So that was just a little tutorial on the item management. You have eight, you can hold up to eight items at once. And don't know if you caught that, but Flowey was right there and he's following you.
L Luke Skywalker. Get it? Early on, all the enemies will flat out tell you, basically tell you what you need to do in order to spare them, but later on it gets more tricky. This guy just doesn't want to be bullied anymore with his big eye. Hey. I fell down a hole. Now I can't get up. Go on without me. Hey, ghosts can fly, can't they? Oh well. Rotation perspective. This is a very simple puzzle, but I think. This is one of the very first sign hints that you should be thinking outside of the box and trying to see things from other perspectives. This is the most literal case of that. So remember where those switches are. I think that was over here. Yep. And see, the thing is, the monsters don't want to fight you, fight you at all. There's no s any differences in the music. Here, the battle, it's all very nice, upbeat ship tunes. Whereas in the overworld, where you're wandering around the, char the character, it's all very real instruments. That's me means, I think that's an indication that they're putting it up a front when they're fighting you. They don't actually want to fight, they just feel they have to. If Vegetoid isn't really going to fight you, he wants to give you a healthy deal. Just watch. By your stomach, Vegetoid offers a healthy deal. Eat your greens. There we go. Now I can spare him. And this guy, he... He doesn't want to fight, he just wants to dance. But he feels like whenever there's another monster around, he will fight you. He feels like he has to because other monsters are around. All he wants to do is hang out and dance. Hi guys. Again, see instrumental music, actual instruments here, and chip tunes here. See again, this guy he was saying Legion, we are Legion, we must all fight, but now he's I just wanna dance. So he doesn't care anymore. The only thing that the game really gets across with screens like this is that you are not interacting with the entire world in the underground. This is to give you a sense of scale. There are more monsters here than you actually interact with directly. 
and it's just a nice way to give you that scale up shot having to show you every single one. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? Not a scratch. Impressive. But still. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Uh, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. Do you smell that? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will not so I'll hold off on snail pie for tonight. Here I have another surprise for you. Here I have another surprise for you. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Something burning? Uh, make yourself at home. Notice that music. Very homey, welcoming, also kind of awkward, wouldn't you say? So, kind of matches the situation. She's trying to adopt a kid that just showed up. And, and kind of wants to go home. But there's no real way out of the underground. At least, don't we know of yet? Now, a little strange to be poking on your stuff, but. Hmm, fine. No, oh, wait, the trash can here. Just a regular old bucket of snails. Tutorial's diary. Read the circle passage. You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling lonely. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of similar caliber. Ah, cactus. True, the most Sundari of plants. Look up Sundari, that joke is hilarious. A peek inside. Scandalous! The tutorial sock drawer. Room under renovations. Yeah, towards the end of the game, we come across a building very much like this one. The main difference is it's gray. And this is the room that's under renovations there. I think you should play upstairs instead. It is dangerous to play here. <coughs> it is drafty here. You catch a cold. It's dusty here. You catch a cough. There's nothing to see here. You want to read a book? <laughs> yeah, her excuses are getting much thinner and thinner each time, aren't they? Alright, let's see what's up, shall we? Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. 
I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you. I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still. I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? Where can I go home? What? This, this is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I am reading? It's called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? How to exit the ruins. Um, how about an exciting snail fact? Did you know that snails talk really slowly? Just kidding. Snails don't talk. Interesting. How to exit ruins. I have to do something. Stay here. Now well, things are about to get serious, and I'm gonna try and first. I want to recreate how I went through this segment. So first, before I really go down there, I'm gonna go save, so I don't have to redo the whole sequence back there. All right, so recreate what I did. The first one was this. I thought this was the first real fight I had to take part in, and I'll show you why. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins, a one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Thing is, you have to go this way. See, without you quit the game you just paid for. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I've seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you, do you understand? Go to your room. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. You want to leave so badly? <laughs> Just like the others. The other children who fell down here. All of them passed through her. How to get past her. But I think you will... This is the first time she's ever tried to fight for the children. The other one either snuck past her or just convinced her to let them leave. She really is trying to protect the children from her former husband. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. And here's what I did. First time I did the act thing, I checked. That didn't really help at all. Ow. Then I tried talking to her. Apparently I can't think of anything to say, and it was really dumb to go up that way. Ow, 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 ow. point that I thought I had to fight her. There was no other option. Uh, if you looked at notice her stats earlier, they're really high. If she actually wanted to kill us, she would have.
you are stronger than I thought. Listen to me, small one. If you go beyond this door, keep walking as far as you can. Eventually, you'll reach an exit. Asgore, do not let Asgore take your soul. This plan cannot be allowed to succeed. Be good, won't you, my child? Now uh, we'll see what Flowey has to say. <laughs> I hope you like your choice. After all, it's not as if you can go back and change fate. In this world, it's kill or be killed. That old hag thought she could break the rules. She tried so hard to save you humans. But when it came down to it, <laughs> she couldn't even save herself. What an idiot. Now, in order to actually undo that, you have to reload re the game, but to do that, I have to quit first. So, sell the. No, fucking sell, hold down, escape. And let's run that again. Ooh. <laughs> Skip that. Kinda of funny how he seems to be staring at you, isn't it? Here we are again. And here I am about to do this fight again. Just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Wait. Why are you looking at me like that? Like you have seen a ghost. Do you know something that I do not? No, that is impossible. I thought about telling Toriel that you saw her die, but that's creepy.
are you doing? Attack or run away! What are you proving this way? And else again how fireballs are avoiding me now. Fight me or leave. Stop it! Stop looking at me that way. Go away. I know you want to go home, but... Please, go upstairs now. I promise I'll take good care of you here. I know we don't have much, but... We can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please. Go upstairs. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped, are you? The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my longings, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Goodbye, my child. Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. <laughs> Don't act so cocky. I know what you did. You murdered her. And then you went back because you regretted it. <laughs> you naive idiot. Do you think you are the only one with that power? The power to reshape the world. Purely by your own determination? The ability to play God. The ability to save. I thought I was the only one with that power, but I can't save anymore. Apparently, your desires for this world override mine. Well, well. Enjoy that power while you can. I'll be watching.
Yeah, and there you just saw the clever, ingenious way that Nurntail um, holds you accountable for every action, even if you attempt to undo it or erase it. <laughs> and, well, if I had gone through the tutorial bit there and instead killed the re most of the monsters I came across, he would then, and then Spiritorial, he would have said something like, oh, oh, clever, very clever, playing by own rules, huh? You spared one person, but you know, Frog it, Migos, all the others, they were someone's tutorial too, and you murdered them. You see, Undertale doesn't let you get away with anything. Which is another reason why I think it does so well at uh, reinforcing its lessons on empathy and pacifism, because it makes you sincerely regret every mistake, because it never forgets. Thank you, and I hope this helped. Uh, clarify some things about this game. Good evening.